It's the Cube. Now, here's your host, Stu Miniman. Hi, this is Stu Miniman with a special presentation of the Cube here at Infinidat's new location in Waltham for the river cut, ribbon cutting. Uh, happy to have with me Randy Arsenal, who's the CMO. Randy, thanks for having us. Hey, Stu. Great to be here. All right, so, uh, you know, beautiful location. Uh, got to meet the architect here. Uh, doesn't feel like kind of the traditional East Coast, you know, cinder block, uh, a lot of glass, uh, you know, uh, really cool conference rooms named after people like Ada Lovelace, uh, Einstein and the like. Uh, Brandy, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, that, about the facility and, and why here in Waltham? So um, we wanted to find a central location that was in an area that was um, encouraging a lot of innovation. And this corridor on 128 right now is really developing rapidly. As you can see, there's a lot of new construction. Uh, so we really like the vibe here. We like the fact that it's kind of core central location. It's easy to get to from downtown. It's easy to get to from the kind of Metroplex area. So it seemed like a logical place. Um, our existing offices or our first office was down in Needham. So we were already sort of had a center of gravity here. And in terms of the facility itself, we really wanted to have a space that was very open and encouraged a lot of collaboration and innovation. And, and you see lots of areas where people can just kind of huddle informally and work together and kind of come out of their offices and interact with each other. So we wanted it to be really um, kind of organic and, and have people moving around and interacting with each other as opposed to just being isolated in their offices. And the other thing we were really keen to have is a lot of light. We wanted a bright, kind of energizing space um, so I think we've been able to achieve that as well. Uh, we actually won an award from Boston Properties, a, an Innovation and Design Award. We were one of, um, or sorry, two of 35 companies that were nominated for the award this year. We got that about a month ago. So um, it's been a fun project to work on. It was one of the first things I kind of got involved in when I joined. And uh, I think it's come out really well. So we're, we're psyched that uh, today finally got here. I mean, we've been in the facility for a while. But it was nice to have the ceremony today, have the local dignitaries, the mayor of Waltham, and, and some, of the state, uh, some of the state representatives here as well. So it was, uh, we're really happy with it. Great. Well, congratulations on the award. Uh, yeah, M Moshe and I got up, uh, said a, a couple of words. Uh, right out the window is uh, Route 128, uh, which uh, I, I think it was, you know, America's technology highway. Uh, so t talk to us about, you know, what are customers going to be seeing when they come in here, you know, briefing center, data center, uh, things like that. So uh, it's obviously first and foremost a briefing center. So we've already had, since we've been here in June, we've had, I don't know how many briefings, I've, I've lost track. So we really wanted to have a facility that was welcoming, hospitable, you know, very uh, visually appealing. It's a comfortable space. We have a big boardroom. We have all the, you know, multimedia assets and AV equipment to really do uh, high quality briefings. Uh, we also have a lab slash data center, which can accommodate up to 15 of our systems. So we wanted to have a showcase where we could actually physically show the system. I mean, it's a software product, but of course it's delivered in an appliance form factor. So it was important for us to have that tactile kind of experience for customers. And it's funny that people just inherently want to interact and touch the box. I mean, whether it's just software running on, you know, relatively standard industry hardware is irrelevant. They want to really see it, touch it, feel it, open the doors, look at the cabling harnesses, pull the drawers out. Everybody likes the flashy lights. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so we want to accommodate that and make sure we're fulfilling that requirement. So um, the whole idea was to have a briefing center that we could that could really be a magnet for North America, so we could attract customers, partners. We're doing a lot of collaborative and cooperative briefings in, in conjunction with our channel partners. Um, we've got room to expand. It's a comfortable space, so we uh, we're really happy with it. We think. We think we've kind of hit the mark. Um, thus far, the feedback we're getting from our customers and our partners has been really positive. They like the space, they like the environment. It makes it easier for us to get the teams together to do the briefings and have the right people in the room uh, to kind of tell the Infinidat story. So, so far, so good. All right, uh, Randy, last question I have for you is, uh, you know, storage has been going through a lot of changes lately. Uh, when customers think about Infinidat, uh, you know, what is differentiating you from the pack and, uh, you know, why is storage still important mm -hmm. in, you know, today's data centers? Boy, how much time do we have? Uh, I'll, I'll try to be brief, which is not my strong suit, as you know. But um, I think in terms of differentiation, um, there's a storage is now, I think we all recognize and agree as an industry, is a, is a software, a service-oriented software product, right? It's become a software product. Um, so we are a software solution. So as I mentioned, we're, of course, delivered on a pre-integrated uh, appliance form factor, primarily for quality and, and reliability uh, reasons. But the industry has been very media centric for a long time and we've seen this kind of strange evolution where the architectural foundations haven't changed and evolved very much but the media has so we we're constantly refreshing the architecture with whatever is 
the then currently fastest and ironically or not ironically most expensive media. And that's how we kind of drag these architectures and these solutions into the future. So we took a different approach and, and, and Moshe has a, a history, a proven history of being able to kind of not be bound to the past, to solve problems in very different and very interesting and unique and innovative ways. And his thought process was we need to get away from thinking about media as the driving factor behind innovation and design. We need to think about it as a software only product first and foremost, but a software product that delivers the same enterprise class features, reliability, performance, capabilities, availability as traditional kind of monolithic arrays, but delivered in a scalable software form factor. So our philosophy is, you know, architecture first. We are architecture centric, we're not media centric. We use Flash, we also use DRAM, we also use spinning disk. So we want to develop an architecture and have developed an architecture that is designed to optimize every one of those media types specifically for the purpose for which they are best intended. So we don't try to force fit Flash, for instance, to be a primary storage tier in an architecture that was designed for spinning disks 25 years ago. We exploit each one of those media types to the absolute maximum possible efficiency and performance. So we're able to deliver performance that competes with and in many cases is superior to all flash solutions and a hybrid solution that's much more economical and orders of magnitude more reliable, right. simply put. <laughs> Great, Randy. Really appreciate catching up with you. Congratulations on the new space here. Be sure to check out siliconangle.tv for lots more video. We've had more conversations with Infinidat and some of their customers in the past. Thanks for watching theCUBE.